generates for you the assets that you need but what am I talking about what am I talking about assets this is the hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you create can quickly and simply assets posts that you can use every single time you do a video a longer video you want to create little pieces and you want to post there's a whole bunch of ways you can do that but let's do it simply and quickly with this method that I'm going to show you in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you probably know that there's a whole bunch of tools out there that let you create pieces of videos or images from videos and that kind of stuff and they take a lot of time to learn and to master and to get going and every single time you do a video you got to go through the same process and it's a time consuming process I got a simple and quick way for you to do it that doesn't require any of your time other than uploading a video every single time and we're going to talk about that in just a second before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis460.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you exactly how to use this tool that will let you do these pieces of content that you can use for your posts automatically from your videos that you do every week all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about all right so basically what you need to do is upload your video enter a title URL episode and click on a button and then that generates for you the assets that you need but what am I talking about what am I talking about assets this is the syndication engine from Clicky Course you might have heard about it before I've been doing episodes about it and this is just going to be another episode where I explain another little piece of how to get it going so say for example you want to generate images you want to generate wave files audio files you want to generate uh, shorter videos from your long videos this is how you do it I'm going to talk about how you can do that and you know <laughs> when we look at the process I follow which is recording a video then creating a blog post and uploading that and then clicking a button I generate all these pieces for all these different platforms just by clicking that one button that can't how can it be more simple it can't be more simple than that it's just about setting up what you want because you can start the process with the default which will generate for you the same or similar stuff that I need that I use like you know a five minute video a two minute video the an audio file a couple of screenshots for posts for images and um and adding um uh, even subtitles on IG, uh, on on reels IG used to be IGTV you can do all that with the platform just with the default but if you want to do something more or maybe you want to do extra uh, uh snapshots extra screenshots extra thumbnails with different uh, structures you can do all that with this but the th the really 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 cool thing about it is that you can do this with uh once you can set it up once you set it up once and after it's set up every single week you just click the button and it generates the same set of assets for you like you know say for example um you like to post on LinkedIn you like to post on Instagram you like to post on Pinterest right so you can generate your LinkedIn Instagram and Pinterest posts from your video every single time that you upload the video that's isn't that crazy the setup is is you know the only thing that you need to worry about the setup is the one time thing that you need to do once you do it once you set out everything up you set everything up you do it once and then after that you get access so by the way this is a uh, uh, syndication it's click ecourse let's just put that link right there so click ecourse slash syndicate it'll take you to this page where you can actually click on here to create a free account you go on this of course I'm logged in already so that's not the process uh, it won't but let me log out and actually show you exactly what that is if I log out right here and then we just go to this page 
you'll go you'll see exactly what I'm seeing right here right um there's even a replay of a webinar I did a while ago that explains this even more you click on this um watch the replay right here that'll take you to the um replay you just put your name and email there and you can watch the replay that explains how to use all this even m you know more basic than what I'm doing here because I'm, I'm it's not about being basic right right now I want to go into a specific thing and show you how to do that with this but basically you come here you click on create free account right there and that'll pop up your ability to register a free account so right now we're just going to create a an email you you would normally click on this continue as with your Facebook name there it'll uh, use your Facebook account to authenticate you it doesn't know anything about Facebook this is just a standard way of getting a registration so you don't have to worry about remembering your user and password but if you want you can use email and password right here I'm just going to do this like this I'm going to create a new account based on the uh, episode we're doing right now and let's just do that and click on register and that'll send an email to me it'll say account created please check your email right I'll just save that and that is basically how that works so if I go to my email you're going to see an email like this it'll have um an image where's the, the image oh there it is so you'll have an email like this it'll say you or someone welcome you know here's your link you click on that link that'll activate your account and uh actually right now I I this is an old email from the previous so let me just uh, pause this and go find the new email there you go so that's <clears throat> the same email obviously the links are different because it's a, a new account so you just click on this link and that'll activate your account once your account's activated you're all set to go with uh, the platform and we'll kind of show you how that works so you see this little pop-up that says successful activity account and you're all good to go all right so um click on that and you're in there so now what you do is you click on your little profile picture in my case it's just a little uh, um, it's a picture with no no person that's because I did the email if you do the Facebook you'll actually have your Facebook profile picture there so just go to syndication right there syndication <coughs> and then what you do is you create your syndication account now what we're talking about is creating let's say we want to do well if we want to do the default this is how simple it is just click on this click on create new series right here we're going to call this my new series now by the way a series is just think of it as a tv show like friends or cheers or you know simpsons those are tv shows right so that's the series the series is what you do every single week the you know whatever your episodes are about that's obviously up to you it can be anything but you're doing one series. you can do more than one series by the way but in this case we're talking about one series so you do one series you just give it a name and then you click on next now it'll default to the kinds of content that is the default of what you want as you can see right here you've got some um, LinkedIn stuff uh Aweber Facebook LinkedIn right um, Twitter down here so these are all just the default now you can delete these things I, let's say you don't want Twitter you can delete it and you just delete the Twitter thing uh let's say you don't care about a two minute video you can delete that right you can create a five minute video if you want all these different things we're not going to go into the whole, the whole detail of all that but let's just say you're you're fine with the default right we'll just do the default and you just say done right so now you've got your series set up your series uh, like I said is what you do every single week let's get that link out of there we don't need it anymore so the series whoops get that out of there okay so the series setup is basically your like I said what does things look like every single week right so now we're just going to create a new syndication now a syndication is like an episode it's like a you know the weekly show that is on on Seinfeld it's the it's the show that day it basically just means I want to generate a new set of assets for this one video that I recorded so the idea with that is that you would record maybe a 30 minute video every single week and you would want to generate you know a post for LinkedIn a post for Instagram a post for Facebook a post for you know Twitter Pinterest all those different things <clears throat> and you would just do that and you just click on well actually before we do that you know let's, let's give you an example of let's say I want to also post on MeWe which is another social platform I'm going to go into edit series I'm going to create a new output see these are outputs right here 
I'm going to click on video because I want to create a video output for MeWe so I'm going to call this MeWe because that's the name of the platform obviously you call it whatever you want and it's going to be I want to extract video from another video or I want to trim and fade a video and add an outro all right so over here I'm going to say syndication source and I want it to be a maximum of these are in seconds so let's say I want a four minute video so that'll be four times 60 is 120 240 so let's say it's 240 240 seconds that's four minutes and then I just save on it right there so now we have a MeWe right here if I look scroll down here there's the MeWe right there trim and fade video plus add outro source from the source video that just tells you what the source is you click on done all right so now we have that so now I've got my syndication I create this the title will be uh uh we, you know in tv shows you have a pilot right so we'll call it a pilot click on next step and then over here uh, I want a url this is just where can people learn more about your episode it could be the specific episode or just a series so it could be your blog page it could be your facebook page your youtube page maybe even a, a sign up page for an email an email list right <clears throat> it's where you want people to go when they watch your video or your or your post right so this is just kind of like where to find out more info <clears throat> that's the url you put there so in my case I'll just put my blog post all right the publish date that's really just to this you know uh it, I don't even know if that's used anywhere but anyways it's, it's a date that you published your syndication all right we'll just leave it at what it is right now and then over here you can enter a YouTube Facebook or Vimeo link so if you have the video and you've uploaded to YouTube you can use that here or you can just upload it directly from the platform I'm just going to click choose a file here I'm going to go find one of the episodes I did before I don't know let's just say this one here and uh, I need to see the size whoops hold on go over here okay that's let's just get a smaller one I don't know which one this one these are this is too well let's get smaller again I don't even know what do we get this one here why are these not showing me the size okay this is good this is a smaller video it's a video I did when we had the hurricane last fall but anyways I just click on this and then it starts to upload it so as you can see it's uploading we'll just pause and I'll come back when it's done so that doesn't take too long it depends on obviously on the internet speed of your uh, ISP right so all right so when it's finished it just shows you that it's done there and it'll say uh, and then it'll show you the video like we're seeing right here right okay so that shows you the video it's uploaded now I click on the next and then I specify where in the video do I want to take the thumbnails for the video so I can just move this around like this if I want I can go over here <clears throat> just wherever I can, I'll turn the sound off here let's just go in this video kind of showing whatever things going on so obviously you know you can take a while maybe to find something but I can pause it right here and if I click inside it'll show me that that's where I'm at now I can move it I can click here and I can move it if I want right show me different spots and it'll up update these right so now I have two different places for a, a, a thumbnail for the gif and for the video click on next and by the way I use the gif for my emails because when I send out my email to my email list the, it's like a, a gif right a gif that moves because in an email you can't send a video you you can only send images right so then you click on well sorry that part here full text it's really up to you this would be the content that you would post for text for each of the different platforms so you're going to have a full like what I do is I create a blog post and I paste in here the content of my blog post and then that generates the uh the, the post text for my different my different posts based on uh, templates and I can show you how that works but after you've done that you click on finish right here and then over here you'll have the assets generated once you do so just click on generate assets and that'll get that'll populate the list of what is configured in your series and it'll start working 
it'll start working on the different things so right now there's the all these are all pending because that's how it starts I can click I can wait I guess we can wait or we can just click on refresh it'll update the assets and you'll see some of them will start to work like for example the trim is working these other ones are all waiting because if I mouse over it you can see why it says waiting five seconds for full text there's no full text yet which is up here right the full text so because and then it'll just be waiting it'll keep trying until the text is there so but in the work in the meantime it'll start working on the ones that it doesn't need text for like the trim five minute here <coughs> is fine and then the miwi is waiting uh for what the miwi is waiting for uh oh trim outro I need the that trim outro right uh okay so that means I need to specify a trim outro video so I go into the edit series and I upload an input so I'm going to upload a video this needs to be called trim outro which is basically the name of the file that it's going to use internally right for you you just choose a file here and you select the end intro uh, of your series that's something I explained in, an, in another episode basically you need to create a video that will go to the end it's like a trailer that goes at the end of your other videos but you do that only once right so I already did it a while ago so I called these are the ones here let's say this one here <clears throat> uh, my outro is that the one I want no actually that's not the one I want I want the uh to be continued one where is it there it is to be continued right here so this is the video I did which basically explains where they can learn more that's kind of what you do so I put that in here and I'm going to save that and now I have the outro so if I click on done and I look here it says it's waiting right waiting 25 seconds so I could actually just click on regenerate right there or I just wait 25 seconds and it'll actually start to produce produce it because the video files there right because when I mouse over waiting it says waiting 25 seconds still waiting for asset input trim outro so I just uploaded the trim outro so now it's going to know that it's there I can click on refresh well that'll stand sorry that'll I won't change this but I can click on regenerate here and that'll just go ahead and try to process it right now as long as all the assets are there it'll generate them once those are done then you can use those assets to actually post uh, your social media like for example this video thumbnail or this podcast or this gift let's look at this I click on the download of the gift thumbnail and you see it's a g it's a gif it's a gif right it's me talking a little bit so we can just let it load up so that it doesn't do this pausing thing but you can see it's me talking right there right obviously there's no sound in a gif there's no sound but this I can go right click and save image as and then I can use it in my email that I send out right same thing with these thumbnails so video thumb right here this one here is the thumbnail of that of that that other spot that I have on my on my video right and as you can see the, the hurricane did do quite a job on our roof back then right but anyways that's yeah <laughs> so that's kind of why that was there because I was showing people where the damage was um, but yeah so that's and then you can do lots of other things you can do so many other things with this you can actually go in here if I just edit the series I can upload let's say for example do I even have that let's say I want to have a, a picture with a little play thing overlaid on it right so what I can do here is I can create let's upload an image and I don't know if I, I have that in the right place so this is going to be play icon well, let's say play play overlay I'm going to call it play overlay choose a file and it's going to be do I even have that in here let's see if I can just well, I guess it doesn't let me so I don't know if it's in here I know I had maybe play there's a png here I know it's a p it's got a p png it might be in here I, otherwise I'll have to go find it uh, sage png um, 
TNG, is that it? No, that's a Facebook group header. All these JPEGs, there's a PNG. No, that's just black background. Hmm. I wonder if it's there if I have a folder. It's been so long since I've done all this stuff, right? I don't remember where all my source files were. Maybe it's up in, in a folder at the top here without the dates. Maybe not. Maybe in here. Uh actually let's look for play. Um hmm. <coughs> Actually, it would be easier if I used uh, this uh, command line thing over here. So let's just go back into my... Let's just show you. Is this geek stuff? Obviously, you don't have to worry about this. If you know where your file is, you don't need to use this kind of stuff. But let me just do that here. I'm going to say find that minus... going to find it someplace in there hopefully and then I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about <coughs> I know I have it somewhere uh-huh maybe video uh, no it's not there either well what I can do is maybe go try to find it in my actual where's my other it's over here um no I can't find it there either ah uh, I was really uh wondering why is this not in there oh oh ugh, I forgot something this is silly of me there that's, that's gonna mm. so what is this click play uh, profile perfect that's not it either so video let's try video <coughs> images video overlay there it is it's under images oh okay all right so it'll make sense that it'll be under images right so let's just go over here what's going on why is this Oh, I guess my browser is all okay. So and their images under images. Oh, uh, looks like my computer decided to do some crazy stuff. Let's pause it and come back when it's fixed. All right. So under images over here we have images. Da -da -da -da. Images. There we go. And then it's under here. It, there's a play icon. Oh, it kind of makes sense that it's in here, right? there it is right here so let's say this video overlay I want this to be in on the in the middle of the screen so I'm just going to upload this as my video play overlay so now I have the overlay and then I can just create a new image output which will be uh it'll be thumb I'm going to call it thumb play and it's going to be a overlay add image on gif add image on add image to background so this will be the source will be the video thumbnail and da -da -da -da, do -do -do -do. and the output is going to be a jpeg oh play over oh no that's the source well I don't know I, it's <coughs> it's been a while since I've done that let's see what happens if I click on done here and I refresh assets it'll add me the new output I have right here the thumb play and if I click on download it didn't generate the right thing because I didn't choose the right uh, format but that's still that's actually actually let's look at this edit series because this is um, just something I haven't done in a long time is generate these overlay things <coughs> but um image it's kind of weird that it doesn't that's not what I want not the video um the thumb play right here so thumb play oh right cancel that thumb play is what I want to load up <coughs> okay so this one here there's an advanced thing I might be able to do it in advanced this is video thumbnail oh I see okay that's what I want I want add image on to background from source video
Oh, well, that's the one I'm on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually not correct. What I want, the source is the video thumbnail. And then what I want here, <coughs> input, ah, uh, yes. So let's just save this and go back in because it doesn't have the right info. Play overlay is the input. The thumb plays right here. And then, oh no, that's what I want. Hide advanced. Well, we'll get this figured out before you actually access this. So let's just worry, not worry about this. Uh, but basically, the idea is you could generate something that lets you you can control things that are generated based on these rules. So once you've got these rules done, right? Then every single time you upload a video, you're going to get the same list of assets, and you'll be able to just download, let's say, this five-minute video right here, or this MeWe video. You're going to be able to download that so that you can post it to the social platforms and you know let's talk about the text so if I look at these these are all text based on the content that's going to be in the full text if you have a blog post which is the easiest way to do it otherwise you just create the text right this is this is the text for the episode this week you know uh, <coughs> we 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 had a crazy week with the Fiona hurricane and this is uh, sh this this is what it was all about we are safe and everything and everything is okay just no power for now <coughs> okay so then you can write more stuff to it and what happens is if we click on this You'll see that these now, if I regenerate, the Facebook post is going to generate Facebook text, Pinterest post can generate Pinterest text, LinkedIn, Aweber, YouTube. So what happens is you choose how to generate the text and then you can reuse that, you can use that text. I click on text right here, it shows me the Facebook post, right, with the title and then the name, the pilot here, and then the content and then the, the final piece of uh, link for people to go and watch more right so how do you do that if I click on the edit series right here you can see there's these text let's say I click on the Facebook one right it shows me the text layout so basically the layout of the text is you choose how it looks so any text you put in here is going to be specific is going to be shown exactly like this otherwise things that are between curly braces are going to be replaced with those particular things so there's the title there's a series name there's the episode number and then there's the actual text and how many letters of the text you want and then over here I have the URL at the end so those are the things that you can put in your text you can tell it I want you know a hundred characters of my text I can change this to 100 if I save this <clears throat> now my Facebook post is gonna be just a hundred characters not a thousand and is it saving and uh, and then afterwards whenever you generate a new episode you're going to have the text just the way you want it with the information read more and watch longer video and you know things like that that you can use to post to your uh, platform all right so that's kind of how it works hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any more questions you can always reach out and we'll see you next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.